In this video, we are going to discuss built-in exceptions. We know that exceptions in Java can be divided into two categories. One is the built-in exceptions and another one is the user-defined exceptions. So, in this case, we are concentrating only on the built-in exceptions. That is some exceptions which are predefined within this Java language can be used in our coding. So, some built-in exceptions are listed here. So, Java has some predefined exceptions and all exceptions are the subclass of the exception class. So, throwable is a class which is having the package that is java.lang. So, java.lang.throwable. So, it has got inherited to the two uh, subclasses. So, one is the errors. So, it is having the class that is the java.lang.error. Another one is the exceptions. So, which is having the class that is the java.lang.exception. Under this java.lang.error class, we are having multiple different subclasses. So, some of them are out of memory error, stack overflow error, etc. And this java.lang.exception is a super class for multiple different subclasses. So, IO exception, SQL exception, file not found exception, class not found exception, etc. We are having this java.lang.runtime exception, which, has have, which is having some subclasses here arithmetic exception, null pointer exception, index out of bounds exception, illegal argument exception and etc. So, this is a hierarchical diagram partial we have shown here. Now, let us go for some built in exceptions. So, arithmetic exception from the name it is quite obvious that when you will be doing some arithmetic operations and if we find some exceptions are occurring then this exception will be thrown. So, arithmetic errors such as divide by 0. So, array index out of bounds exception from the name it is quite obvious that I am trying to access some subscript or the location of an array which is beyond the definition. So, index exceeds the range of the array. So, in those cases this array index out of bounds exception will be thrown. Null pointer exception invalid use of null reference number format exception invalid conversion of a string to a numeric format. So, in those cases this number format exception may be thrown. No such method exception we are going for another type of no such method exception a requested method does not exist. So, in this way we are having different exceptions we are having the different descriptions. So, for the better understanding let us go for one practical demonstration for the ease of your knowledge generation. Here in this Java program I have defined one integer array the name of the array is my array which is having five consecutive locations. So, five elements we have put into this array and during initialization of this array we have also mentioned the size of the array that means it is having five consecutive locations and the subscript will be ranging from 0 to 4. So, if any subscript if we mention which is beyond this range then obviously one exception will be occurring. So, here we are printing the value of this array from the subscript number 10 which is uh, quite well uh, greater than the value 4 that is the maximum subscript possible for this array. And for this uh, situation one exception will be raised and that is why we have written a catch block just following the try block here and this catch block is handling array index out of bounds exception and E is the respective object for that. And here we are having the uh, remedial actions that means we are printing one statement that is invalid index of the array. Okay. Now, next time we will define one string uh, object string class object that is a my string initialized with null. And here in this particular system.out.println statement we are trying to print the character at the fifth location. But this my string has got initialized with null. So, if I want to pick up the character from the fifth index of this particular my string string object obviously that will raise one exception. So, one exception will be produced and that is why this particular code has been put within the try block and immediately this code is following the catch block and that is the null pointer exception E. So, system.out.println the string is pointing to a null value. So, respective string respective message will get printed which is the error handling part. Okay. Now, see here we are trying to uh, convert this ABC this particular string as an integer. 
So now integer dot parse int abc string, which is not at all possible because abc cannot be converted to a number. So that's why int number, when we are, when trying to initialize this number, there is a int variable is not possible and that will raise one exception and that exception is known as the number format exception. So what will happen? This particular line will remain unreachable, unexecuted. Whenever we are trying to do this I integer dot parse int, we are calling this particular method, converting one string to number, then immediately exception will be raised and the catch block will get the control here. And here the, here the exception name is number format exception and this remedial statement will be printed. So now let us go for the execution. You can find that whenever I am executing invalid index of the array, that means this line has got executed. That means the control came to this in array index out of bounds exception catch block. The string is pointing a null value. That means this line has got printed. That means the control came to the catch block uh, for this null pointed exception E and it is not a valid number. That means control came to this catch block here. So in this way, you can find that how this inbuilt exceptions in Java we have handled. So now if I put this one as one, so zero to four is a valid index here because we're having five integers are there. So that's why one index is valid. So if I put here, say zero, let us see that what will happen. And then obviously some exception will be there. And here, if you put here 100, then 100, which is a string can easily be converted to a number. So now see what will happen. So the value of the uh, of my array 10, so here it, I should write this one as 1, say. I'm writing this one as 1. So now if I go for this, so the value of my array 1 is 20. Yes, at the index number 0, index number 1 is containing 20. The string is pointing a null value. That means here it is producing exceptions because the string has got initialized with a null. But let us suppose I, I'm just putting this one as ABCD. So now see what will happen. So it, has, it is picking up the respective character 0 because I'm picking up the character from the 0th place. So A will be picked up and accordingly outputs are coming. And in the last case, the number is 100. That means this line got the control. So catch block is not getting the control. So in this way, we have explained how these inbuilt exceptions can be handled in our Java code. Thanks for watching this video.